I'm going to be reviewing a load of K-beauty brands. Hey Skincare, which if you're not in the know, it means Korean skincare. And straight off the bat, I'm a huge fan and I'll tell you for why. I think that K skincare brands do sunscreen, sun protection for your face, like no other. Like no Western brand I've tried has come close, apart from the SOS SPF 50. That's an exception to the rule. I have sensitive skin, I have sensitive eyes, I have a sensitive soul. My skin just typically doesn't love sunscreens. I've tried quite a few different brands over the years and I always go back to K skincare brands. Purito, Beauty of Josan. I actually don't know how to pronounce that brand, so if I'm pronouncing it wrong, excuse me. But I do love it as a brand. I use their... I won't review it in this video. What? Why does this happen to me every time I put something in my makeup bag? It comes out and it looks like this. But I love this brand. I'm going to start with the SPF actually. I've got a couple of products here. It's kind of a whole skincare routine. My overall review, just up front, and I'll leave all the product names down below and where these, these were all received in PR, but that obviously doesn't impact my opinion. But overall, I would say this is a lovely basic routine, like a very soothing routine for sensitive skin. And I have been having, you can't see, but you'll be able to see in the next clip when I don't have makeup on. I have been having breakouts on my cheek and like around my chin area. And I think it's hormonal. I think it's hormonal. I think it's also to do with diet, but I'm not having any on my right side. And yet on my left side, I've been tackling some breakouts. I'm pretty sure it's hormonal. So this has been a really nice soothing routine. Um, and I'll go through each product and what I like about them, blah, blah, blah. But just to start with. I think it's a decent basic routine. I don't think it's jam packed full of like actives, but I think it can be really nicely complemented with active, you know, like vitamin C or like retinol in the evening, stuff like that. But anyway, I'm gonna jump into it with the SPF, the sunscreen SPF 50, and I'm going to talk to you about it in the next clip because it was before I put my makeup on. This is like the good old times doing little product reviews. I've missed doing this, I really have. This one here is a sun cream. All of this is vegan and cruelty free, I forgot to say that. This is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Water Fit Sun Serum SPF 50. And I put it back in the box, but I have been using it constantly. So I don't know why I put things back in the box. I just think it's the, it's the unboxing that does something for me. I kind of knew what to expect when I was trying this because just every single Korean sun cream, SPF 50 I've tried, just knocks it out of the park. Like it's just incredible. And I've not tried this brand before, Skin 1004. Not the catchiest name ever. It's really lightweight. It has this little applicator thing which is intriguing i'm not really going out in the sun it's really great today and i'm not really going outside but i'll show you how it applies it's very similar to korean sunscreen products i've used before like the beauty of just sun just um their rice water one that is beautiful so lightweight on the skin it feels like i'm kind of rubbing in a light lotion no white cast obviously it's a chemical spf but it doesn't sting my eyes um i've recently been testing the claire's spf which is also spf 50 and that one i think it stings my eyes a tiny bit i do have sensitive eyes and sensitive skin this one is just so it's almost like cooling on the skin it just feels like a lovely moisturizer but a light moisturizer because you know I love my SOS SPF 50, but I do think in summer, that one, great for sensitive skin. I still love it. I still use it, but it is slightly thicker. So if you've tried that on my recommendation, but you've kind of thought, this is nice. It's just a teeny, teeny bit too heavy for me. You might really like this one. And I do need to update my sunscreens, like my favorite sunscreens of the year, do an updated version of my last year's video for 2021 in 2022. And this might make the cuts. You'll have to wait and see, but spoiler alert it does make the cut it's very lightweight doesn't break me out it's kind of got a very natural finish it's not super duper dewy it's not matte and flat it's just a lovely product this and a bit of concealer you're good to go and like i say i would put some on my forehead but i'm not going out and i don't really want to waste it but hopefully you get an idea of how it applies and how it looks if you've got sensitive skin and you don't like wearing sunscreen i recommend looking into korean sunscreens because there's something about how they're formulated and the actives they use just next level. Okay, so I'm just gonna rush through my makeup now and then I'll carry on with the rest of the products. I'm actually using the new e.l.f. product. Let me know. Ice cream man. So I really love this. I don't know why I keep putting it back in the box, but that's just the way I roll. <laughs> just quite satisfying to take it out um but yeah really like this i think it's great and i will link down below my sunscreen review video once 
that's live. Moving swiftly onwards, let's talk about this. So this is the Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser by COSRX. I've tried COSRX before, I like their stuff. This I think is my favourite thing I've tried from them though because it is such a softening cleanser and it's so gentle. It's so, so gentle. I'm not really a gel cleanser gal. I'm more of a cream cleanser person, but there, I think there is a time and a place for a gel cleanser. I just sometimes, the ones I've tried that I've seen online have been recommended. Brands like Youth to the People, their green tea cleanser, it's just a little bit stripping. I know some people love that one. For me, I could take or leave it, to be honest. Contrasting with this one, that one I feel like left my skin squeaky clean and i think if you maybe if you've got oily skin you like that squeaky clean feeling i don't like that squeaky clean feeling my skin's sensitive but in general it's kind of normal norm, normal normal combo overall I, I usually can get away with a cream cleanser but in summer when you're kind of sweaty and oily a gel cleanser is nice and this one not stripping at all and interesting that it's low ph i don't know if that has something to do with why it's so soothing it's just so gentle and you'll be able to see when i'm using it it foams up really nicely it's like a very velvety kind of feeling cleanser it's really nice i really like it and it's got a very faint sort of tea tree witch hazel kind of vibe to it I really like it. I would buy this myself. I think it's I think it's a really nice cleanser. The next product that I have been using, and I'm not gonna lie, my skin does suffer when I'm trying to go through so many different products. So I've been trying to kind of use these religiously and not, you know, use other products as well, which has been difficult. But I've kind of stuck to it. You can see I've been using this one for a while. This I really like. This is the Sioris, Sioris, my first Essener green tea extract mugwort leaf extract i really like this and i don't know if it's the mugwort in it because i think mugwort is supposed to be quite soothing for kind of acne and red skin and um yeah just like anti-inflammatory i feel like as an ingredient i really like this it doesn't have an offensive smell it's not stripping it's a thick kind of toner or i suppose they call it an essence don't they in case skincare i just sort of pat it on my skin with my hands there's no need for in my opinion there's no need for cotton pads preps the skin really nicely for whatever serums i want to put on top i really like this i would buy this myself actually i think it's very soothing um i really enjoy it and i'm just comparing it to another K skincare product it's a similar kind of consistency to the Claire's Supple Preparation Toner, the kind of bounciness of that toner. It's a bit like that, but I think that one is more just like straight up soothing. This one with the mugwort in, I feel like it's a little bit anti-inflammatory as well. So yeah, I really like this and it comes in a fancy glass bottle. Um, really enjoy it. I wanna check out more from this brand because I've not, I've not heard of them. Then I go in with a, this is like my morning skincare. I'll go in with a vitamin C, which is from a brand we won't talk about because it's not a Korean skincare brand. Can't go without vitamin C. And then I've been going in with this Psycho Serum. Sorry if I'm pronouncing any of this wrong. I could well be, I do not know. Again, it's back in the box, but that's just because I was trying to keep it neat and tidy for this video. This is fragrance free and this is just like, like I say, soothing. That's the theme of this video, soothing 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 it is a fragrance free serum and it's very thin it's very watery you'll be able to see and when i pump it out in the cutaway you should be able to see it's a very very thin watery serum i don't know how it's got stuff on it kept it in the box especially why can't i keep my products clean and tidy i just don't get it it's just a very basic but in the nice way, I don't mean basic in a bad way, I mean like soothing. It's not necessarily going to give you visible results in terms of brightness or... Actually, what does it claim to do? Yeah, it says soothes and moisturise sensitive skin. That is like the main goal of this product, I feel like. It's not necessarily got vitamin C in to brighten. It's not got many actives in the sense of... Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm describing this right. I feel like skincare, for me, either falls into making your skin feel nicer or making it look clearer or brighter or nicer or whatever so i feel like this is more of a product and this routine is more of something that makes your skin look maybe look a bit more plump and awake but mainly just feels soothing i love this i think it's a great product and it does have a little cap on it which i haven't put on back on <laughs> oops not heard of the brand vigreen either v green not the catchiest name ever also don't love the hashtag clean beauty but <laughs> What can we do? And then I do have some sheet masks here. And these are by Beauty of Josion. Josion. These are the Centella Asiatica Calming Masks. And that is something that's in this as well. So again, very soothing, great for sensitive skin, just lovely. And these are really nice. I mean, I've only used one because 
with sheet masks i just it, it gets me down they're wrapped in plastic they are lovely i do love a sheet mask but i'm saving these for special occasions i've only used them once um i found that there was a lot of serum in there it lasted quite a while on my skin i kind of just left it on whilst i was working from home because it's just a piece of cloth really soaked in serum and the, the cloth just sort of presses the serum serum presses the serum into your skin i'll just opt for a serum instead and try and save on the waist because this is quite a thick bit of plastic for a mask i would just rather kind of use a hydrating mask that comes in a tub or something where it's not like i'm throwing something away every time i use it so anyway that is probably the only only product i wouldn't repurchase but not because of the quality of the product more so just because of the waste involved but they are very calming and they are very nice and i love this shade of green i know that's got nothing to do with anything but i love this i want to figure out what kind of green that is because imagine that on a wall oh i'm having some ideas in my head and then last but not least We've got this bad boy and this is by the brand purito it's for dry and sensitive skin types and oh boy is it if you've got dry skin if you've got sensitive skin if you want to try a moisturizer and i've tried a couple i've tried one from claire's i think i've tried one from another k beauty brand or k skincare brand this has been my favorite it is so ceramide -y. i love ceramides i love the pacifica ceramide range i just they're so nice and i know cerave is a brand that people really like i don't think cerave is cruelty free off the top of my head i'm pretty sure they're not purito is and this is obviously a vegan product and it's their dermide balancing barrier bar oh that alliteration splendid i like that this is just splendid it's so soothing like it's got nothing but soothingness and hydration in this bottle i i really really recommend this i mean it's not the biggest bottle ever but you don't actually need too much for your face i use the rest of it on my hands like when i've got any left over i'll use it on my hands i've got sensitive backs of my hands and it it's lovely if you've got sensitive skin and you're looking for a moisturizer that's gonna lock everything in but not feel too heavy but not feel too light like i've got a friend who's got dry skin but she's actually got combination skin but she has like dry patches and she there's that we have this kind of thing where it's like certain moisturizers they say they're rich and hydrating and they're just not they're not quenching enough and this is definitely a quenching kind of cream like the rich mm, deep rich moisturizer is that what it's called by claire's i've used that one before and it's nice it is soothing but it's not it's not quenching enough this is quenching do you know what I mean? But it's not too thick. It's, it's like the perfect balance. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful product. And I really, really recommend it if you've got sensitive skin, if you've got dry skin. It, it sinks in like a dream and I love it. I really like it. And that is it. That is the last product I wanted to mention. I honestly would recommend this whole routine. If you're looking for soothing products, I think these are all spectacular. The only one I personally wouldn't repurchase is this one because of the waste, but everything else I really like. It's not often I get sent PR and I like everything but I do, I liked everything. So that's always lovely. And I'm also quite quite difficult to impress in my old age. Well, not old age, but like I test a lot of products. So for me to like all of them, I feel like that's saying a lot. So like I say, I'll leave details down below if you wanna check any of these out. And if you've got any products you've tried from K Skincare brands that you really recommend, because not everything I've tried from K Skincare has, has worked for me, but um, like I say, all of these very, very soothing, great for my kind of inflamed acne areas and, um yeah good reviews all around so yes that's it from me thank you so much for watching like i say subscribe if you want to subscribe follow me on my socials if you want to and i will see you in the next one bye